and this video we will work on the test create user API call. So uh, let's look at the HTTP request that we used to send. I'll bring up my postman. Here is a HTTP post request to the forward slash users endpoint that contains following JSON payload. And when this HTTP request is sent, a new user is created out of the information that we sent to it. This HTTP POST request also contains two headers, content type, which specifies the, the representation of this data, whether it's XML or whether it's uh, JSON, so that server-side script knows what to expect, and accept, which will specify the content type of the data we want to receive back from the server. So with this header, we tell server that we want to accept data as XML or JSON representation. So let's create this HTTP request in our REST assured code. First of all, I will set up the URL. If I go back to my uh, test class, before my test create user method is called, I will have the setup method called first. So I will use this setup method to uh, set up the base URI and the uh, port number of my application. And to do that, I will use REST assured and then I will set up base URI and that's going to be equal to HTTP and then localhost and that's it. So the base URI is HTTP localhost. Then we have a port number. Let me specify the port number. So I'll use rest assured and then port and then the port number I will specify 88 for now. Okay, so this is the port number on which we are going to run our web service API. And if I open up the source main resources where the application property file is, if I open that one, our web service API is running on the port 8080. So this is why in my test create user, the port number is going to be 8080. Okay, so I have specified the base URI and I have specified the port number. Now, if I go back to this postman, the next is application context path, mobile app WS. And this is also specified in my application properties file. When mobile app web services run, it has the application context path here as mobile app web service. So I'll have to specify that. I'll go back to my test case and I will specify it at the top here as a string value. So I'll do private final string and I will call it context path equals forward slash mobile app WS like this. Or not to make a typo, you can go into your application properties file of your project and simply copy and then go to your test case and paste it here like this. 